Hello guys, this is Tanya from Sarva Yoga and I help you navigate your life. Today it's time for your Libra July 2020 Tarot. And that's why we're gonna start with a little bit of Guardian Angel Spray for cleansing the aura here. And then we're gonna start shuffling with the Tarot deck. Angel Spirits Guides, is there any information for Libra, please, for the month of July 2020? Thank you. Wow, okay. Any further information for Libra for July 2020? Any information for Libra for July 2020, please? Any information? Thank you. Any further information for Libra July 2020, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Any further information for Libra for July 2020, please? The information is highly appreciated here. Anything that Libras have to know, please, for July 2020? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay then, we're gonna shuffle from this little positive affirmation deck. Angel Spirits guys, is there any positive affirmation for Libra for the month of July 2020, please? Any positive affirmation for Libra, please? For the month of July 2020, Any information for Libra? Positive affirmation for Libra, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Okay, I think it's that one. Beautiful. Bear with me because after the shuffling, we're gonna go into your interpretation. But now I'm gonna pull from another deck. This is the Angel Answer deck. Angel Spirits Guides, is there any information for Libra for July 2020, please? Any information for Libra for July 2020, thank you. Okay, any other information for Libra for July? Anything else? Okay, thank you. Beautiful, I like it. Hmm. Now let's try another angel deck. Which angel is with the Libra in July 2020, please? Which angels are with Libra in July 2020, please? Which angels are with Libra? Pop, 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 pop. This is too much. <laughs> Darling, this is way too many cards. <laughs> Everything fell to the floor. <laughs> okay. Okay, Angel Spirits Guides, which angel is with Libra in July 2020? Thank you. Okay. That looks nice. That looks nice. I think we are done for now. I'm going to show you what your spread was looking like and then we're going to go right into your interpretation. back into your interpretation. The first card that fell out was a major arcana, that's the emperor. Um, the emperor is standing for leadership, respect, um, a male figure, a father figure, male energy, young energy, um, and also for protection. So you've got some kind of fatherly protection in your life. Maybe it's your earth family father or if you believe in god it's the father above but definitely there is some protection here for you 
Um, it could also mean if, if this represents you, then this could be that you are elevated into the position of higher power, but that comes with higher responsibility. So if you get a pay raise, then you also might get into a work position where you have the responsibility for a whole team or for more people and it's your job to protect them. Yeah. Um, then we also have the Eight of Cups in Reverse. So Eight of Cups in Reverse can talk about fully learning from the past. And it could also mean that um, someone is returning home. So that could either be someone in your surroundings. Let's say your kids are studying in another state and they come home to visit you or um, just somebody who hasn't been in the country for a long time is coming back from travels or um, it could also be that yeah just any kind of returning home it could also be that you return home to yourself by doing some inner work by doing some meditation yeah so um, that's actually a positive card so don't worry that it came out in reverse then we have a very very good card we have the ten of cups and the Ten of Cups is talking about prosperity, success. So whatever you touch, it's going to be successful. And there is a lot of uh, love in the family and support in the family. And that could mean either your earthly family, so the family you were born in, but it could also be your ancestral family, so your ancestors which have already passed to the other side. And also it could talk about your spirit tribe, your soul family here on earth. And this is of course also friends and not only your birth family. So there is a lot of support and um, abundance and success. So this is a very, very good card. Then you have the seven of pentacles. So with the seven of pentacles, you're working on something. You're working really hard. You're putting in the effort and you're, you're patiently waiting for your project to succeed and to be fruitful. But for this, you need a bit of patience. It's not coming right now, but it's on the way. It's coming. It's in the making. Yeah, your success is in the make making. And here we have an angel card which fell out, which says wait. So this is corresponding with this card that says keep on working, keep on working and patiently wait for the outcome because it's going to come. Yeah, it's it's here for you. It's in the making, but it needs a little more time. Um, also, we have um, the peaceful resurrection card. This also fell out from the angel answer deck. And that's a very beautiful card because if we if we have the Eight of Cups reverse, which talks about you have fully been learning from your mistakes in the past. Then here we've got this peaceful resurrection. That means there used to be a conflict. There used to be some conflict with employees, some legal matters. Maybe there was a divorce. Maybe there was um, some legal battle about some inheritance. There was some kind of conflict and this is going to be resolved and you're going to be resurrected with new learning. You have now learned from the past. You know how to deal with things better. You have really savored that experience and learned from it. And that's something very, very good. So also this means that um, all disagreements will be resolved in your favor. Yeah, there will be a good compromise, a win-win situation, which is the best for everyone involved. And yeah, that's actually a very good sign. Then also uh, I was asking which angel is with you in July and it's the Archangel Metatron. He is encouraging you to make a leap of faith. And this card has the number zero. This is correlating. It is equal to the fool in the tarot. So it says, believe in yourself, listen to your heart and do what gives you joy. This is an encouragement to make that leap of faith. And it's also um, telling you that you should be proactive in researching and investigating all the information that you need in order to start a project, in order to make that leap of faith. And don't let, and let the lack of experience hold you back because um, it's allowed for you to start something new and to literally suck at it at first. It's okay if, because if you're just a starter, nobody has ever fallen from the sky being a master. You have to start somewhere. And at first you're gonna make mistakes, but that's fine, yeah? So whatever you plan, 
don't let your being unexperienced stop you from it. This is an encouraging card. Take the leap of faith. Do it, whatever you dreamed of. Maybe it's starting a YouTube channel. Maybe it's starting a business. Maybe it's uh, creating... Um, an art exhibition, whatever it is for you, but do it. This is a very encouraging card. And it says here with the Seven of Pentacles, if you put in the work and if you're willing to wait and have some uh, patience, then all of the abundance will come out here with the Ten of Pentacles. So this is a very, very good horoscope uh, or not horoscope, but tarot. And uh, I also pulled a, a card with a positive affirmation for you. And it says, I will make time for laughter and connection with family and friends. And here we are with the Ten of Pentacles. You see your family and friends here, how you're having laughter and conversation. So that is a very, very positive. Whoop, bop, bop. <laughs> it falls out of my head. <laughs> so I hope that this reading was uh, interesting for you. If you liked, then give it a like, comment, share, subscribe. And yeah, I'm happy to see you again for the reading of next month. Bye. <laughs>